Are you looking at LED therapy? Been searching the internet but not sure what it is? Feeling a little overwhelmed? Well, don't worry. You're not alone, and we are here to help. We will break LED therapy down into very simple terms so you can easily understand the key aspects. The extent of data and knowledge available on LED therapy is quite vast and well documented. Clinical and scientific research has proven that LED therapy is an effective means to address a variety of conditions such as wrinkles, anti-aging, acne, pain, to name a few. Unfortunately, not all LED therapy devices are equal, and not many people have read the research to know that. This leaves so many in the dark and not sure what to look for or what works. Let's take a minute to review a few facts about LED therapy. NASA, NASA, NASA. So the LED company you talk to says they are based on the NASA research. Really? Well, are they? Let's consider this because it's easier said than done. The NASA study is one of many that validated the healing benefits of LED on damaged tissue. Many other studies also validated this, as well as other applications. Now we must understand what was done in the NASA and other research to understand what LED therapy is. So let's break that down. First, we need to understand some basic parameters. Coverage, purity, color, power output, dose. So what does all that mean? First, most studies utilized a large LED array with medical-grade LEDs. This allows for a large area to be treated with a clean, pure blank of light. Next, they utilized monochromatic LED light. This means one color or wavelength at a time, or in an alternating pattern to avoid destructive interference. Don't be alarmed, we'll talk about that later. The monochromatic light consists of wavelengths, colors, in the visible red, blue, and near-infrared range. So no crazy light show or colors like fuchsia, lavender, or green. Now comes power output. This is very important because it defines the strength of the light, how much light energy is delivered, and how deep it goes. The output stated in the NASA study is 50 milliwatts per centimeter squared, and most other studies range for 35 milliwatts per centimeter squared to 120 milliwatts per centimeter squared. A quality LED should provide this information. Lastly, the research specifies the dose. A dose is calculated using the power output over time to give a dose in joules. Generally, this will range from 4 to 8 joules on the low end and up to 50 joules depending on the application. It's important to note that a less powerful system will require a much longer runtime to get a proper dose. Hmm, does that sound like your device? If so, congrats, you did well. If not, don't worry, we can help you. Now that you are armed with some basic knowledge, you should be able to validate that LED system that claimed to be researched by NASA or based on NASA technology. Does it meet or exceed these parameters? Unfortunately, probably not. I'm sorry to say most LED manufacturers aren't playing nice and hoping you aren't educated enough to figure it out. Well, guess what? Now you have resources to fully understand the facts behind LED therapy and what to look for. Join our group and learn the true facts about LED therapy, what it is, how it works, and how to apply that to your practice. It's not science fiction anymore, it's science fact.